So this is we don't if we don't have question we can do this one which is from Patisambira Magga I think talk on loving kindness. So if, if people don't have questions, we will probably end up doing that. So there are basically ways how metta is. <clears throat> I don't, okay, I will have to kind of phrase it some way. So when we do loving kindness meditation, we are paying attention in a particular way. So this is the way how this paying attention, where the loving kindness happens, is done. <coughs> End of the line <coughs> is in, like ends of all the lines is what you kind of wish or the attitude you develop while practicing that and as avera abhyapajya and aniga avera is a it means is uh, means uh, without enmity abhyapajya means without affliction which is kind of similar and aniga lokam says uh, there are um, other defilements that are connected with anger so the aniga uh, is uh, means like uh, <clears throat> free from the defilements that are connected with the anger. Mm. Mm. Hmm. So the Avera is translated as enmity, sorry, free from enmity. So enmity is this like, now I ask what's the difference between the Avera and Avyapajya uh, because uh, Free from enmity and free from non affliction sounds kind of this kind of what. <clears throat> so, so the first one is like hatred, is a long time uh, enmity means like you have hatred or anger with somebody for long time, like uh, long standing anger. <coughs> so the second one, <coughs> so the enmity is really something that's, that is there for a couple, like number of months, years or even all of your life. The second one is just strong anger which is there for some time when it's active but then it's gone. So. So may there be, may this, because uh, you don't understand these other things, but you say may so and so or such and such being in this particular way or direction, that is the beginning part. 
and then the end of that may they be free from anxiety may they be free from uh, anger and may they be free from this uh, like a <clears throat> defilement connected with the anger and may they be happy uh, in a situation where these things are not there Oh, and over the me, me to kiata nam pariya nam to kiya ni, ha? Oh, ega me 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 wa netur, ala budhari netur, ala kya ni tu nam? Jata the jivati na atta na kya na, tamangi jiviti, tapa the paatan. So it means it means something like they uh, <coughs> carry on their <coughs> lives. Kind of happily without those three things mentioned. Sometimes they call it may they be happy in their own hearts or something like that. <laughs> so this is basically look I'm, I, I, like something like this. I like. That everybody lives happily without uh, this hatred, anger, and uh, connected uh, anger connected defilements. Mm. Mm. Uh, and the anger, enmity, and connected defilements with anybody and anything. So if you are able to stay like that all the time, morning, morning till evening, that is something extremely valuable. So this uh, first classification is the where it's for all sattā, pāna, bhūta, puggala and something, something. So, which we don't have good words for that. Satta is a kind of one kind of categorization, uh, being. The word satta means like being. Pana is also kind of being. Sometimes they call them like breathing beings. And then Bhuta is another kind of being. Uh, usually it means more like the spirit kind of uh, spiritual being, if you like. And the so, so the last line basically means whatever mode of being they happen to acquire. If I understand, if I remember and understand. So because they, this is like categorization of beings into these categories, so uh, you say all these kind of beings and this kind of beings and this kind of beings, Puggala means persons, and all kind of persons, and then uh, the last line means any kind of mode of being they happen to be, may all the beings be well and happy and so on. So, it is mono mono so this is the kind of one way of oh. one way of the like attention with loving kindness. So this is like um, boundless or limitless or uh, like something like this this is this category is called like that 
So this means like uh, you don't consider some boundaries like that, like uh, it's like whether if it's uh, yes yeah, so like without boundary these beings and breathing beings and uh, like spiritual beings and persons and whatever mode of existence they, uh, they happen to be in may all beings be free from <coughs> uh, hatred, free from uh, anger and free from uh, defilements connected with anger uh, happily in themselves. So, the, so that this is the first that the first part up there is called like without considering uh, directions or areas. Oh. Or is a panna enemy, Tima Tai, the Dana Pidana, Manusaloki in there. He told Eva Yumi, Egini had the Nama, Abidana, Mamma in Noikila. So the second category is kind of limited or in some specific area, so if we know this area of the human existence, Lokohamuses has these seven kinds of individuals, so that is uh, like ladies and guys and noble individuals and ignoble individuals and uh, Devaki and Devyude. So here the word Deva refers not to Devas because this is talking about the human world. So uh, the <coughs> like kings and people like that they were considered as kind of Devas. So the Deva here means uh, the uh, let's say like le leaders and the plebs. Okay, so this is the another category. ดีวะเกณฑ์นะเจเนมะลาปุระตัคเกณฑ์นะเนี่ยวะลาคุลอดโอ้เนเนมะเฮเบเมเฮอะโลโกไอเนโอเอเมคอันติมะเดนิปา
whatever the Hindu, uh, uh, like people that are in this woeful states. <coughs> so for those, uh, this is the area wise de definition. So you use like may people, may all ladies like in this village or in this, uh, in this street or in this district. So if you use that kind of ideas, you use this approach. Uh, of of using this uh, ladies and guys and so on. So then the third big category is direction wise where it's not by area but by direction really. So then you have in the hierarchy and then in the so the idea is you have uh, the, uh, like uh, I don't know if they are called cardinal directions maybe so so on the plane you have four main directions and uh, in between directions so altogether eight plus up and down so that is ten so you have uh, like uh, if you like left and right forward and back and in between uh, right and forward and in between uh, right and back and in between left and back and in between uh, left and forward or you can use it with the normal directions like northeast uh, southwest and like uh, northeast and southeast and southwest and northwest and plus up and down so so again ever are calling ever puland so this can be combined with the previous previous two methods so you can say like all beings in front of me uh, may they be well and happy and all breathing beings in front of me may they be well and happy and all the like spiritual beings in front of me may they be well and happy and oh, so on or you may do all the ladies in front of me or all the guys and all the noble people and all the ignoble and so on so you can combine the first one of the first two categories with the directions or both of them so we have these uh, combinations all those combinations happening this is a way how to practice loving kindness so people don't practice it that way probably hmm. So if we just say may may there be happiness and comfort, this is kind of not enough. Mm -hmm. So Lokam says this is the way how to well practice metta. Mm -hmm. Then <laughs> So this this is like two different things of so the first uh, three parts up there. They are how like where to direct the at loving kindness attitude and there are these different combinations so we have you have to kind of study and get good grasp of that and then you can practice that so the lower part is about the loving kindness itself is 
like a, another uh, kind of topic there. Oh, in London, the meta Latino, meta Bajana, meta Cauvario, Palea Machin, Pilane, meta Lane. Cauva Cagari Manaza, meta Lane. Echo Pilan. So Pilana is like I think oppression basically. So, so, the, so this so this is like explanation about different aspects of what it means to have loving kindness. So Lokamis is some people they don't hit people but with their expression or what they like facial expressions or what they say they cause oppression to others around so that is not a loving kindness attitude pagatana i think uh, I think in English they call it this like uh, uh, character assass uh, assassination. Well, I don't know if people know this. No, it, that. Slander. <coughs> Slander. Yeah, but no, but the Pali word is like similar to the assassination. Mm. So so like you take somebody's character and start slandering, like or paint them in black. You start really. Uh, uh, purposefully destroying uh, what peop other people think about them. So this is another opposite quality to, to loving kindness. So 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 that's the second word. So the next one is like um, something like torturing uh, and the word the uh, the root of the word is like heat so that but so it's, uh, i don't know if there is a good english word that has the idea of torture and and like heat or fire so 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 this is like uh, like you burn the people so this like not burning the people means uh, Loving kindness. So the next one is like remainderless destruction. So I think those are like different aspects when you are being bad to somebody, these this different aspects. So one of them is like you don't leave the one threat dry on that person. Yes, it's like cruelty. May they be free from enmity. But in Pali, how to say it? And not full of enmity. In English, we have to say like full of enmity. But the idea is these two things where you say the like free from the bad quality. No, sorry. Full of the good quality and free from the bad quality. So. May they be like full of uh, un, non, let's say, full of non-hatred, not hateful, something, idea like that. So first one is about the long-standing uh, anger. So 
second one is about uh, uh, suffering and the last one is suffering in their heart so may there be uh, so, so let's say the first one is like may I be free from uh, may I be full okay may I be full of uh, non-hatred and free of hatefulness uh -huh. or then the same thing uh, you wish for the others may this person be completely free from hate, uh, hatred and be full of uh, non-hatred uh, so may i be free from suffering and full of non like comfort and the last one is visiting bansa hmm. So these two things together, they are called loving kindness. Uh, so this is the, the last bit is kind of definition of this liberation of mind by loving kindness uh, means so the, by loving kindness is this one that we talked about this now so the, by the uh, in english the part of this uh, liberation of mind by loving kindness so the by by loving kindness is defined like this uh, uh, made uh, <clears throat> May they, uh, may there be you no know, oppression, and may there be freedom of oppression. May there be no, uh, like, uh, what was the character smearing? And uh, may there be full of free from that, and so on. That is the what what is meant by the by the loving kindness. Uh, then it is the liberation of mind. So the of mind from this expression, the of mind means when these all these things are being thought of or the mind is full of this attitude that is the by of the mind and when the liberation is by by those things in being in the mind if all kind of ill will and uh, ill will rooted defilements are kind of completely removed from the mind, so that is the liberation. So anyway, so training in these things is good for anybody. I have trained at one point this because the teacher told me to train this. The things mentioned at the top. So because at that point I thought Staying here it was really of no use. Oh. So then it's better if I disrobe and go home. And then I told that to the teacher that I was thinking of going back home. So then he told me. So he said, now, if it's so, completely stop this vipassana kind of practice, 
Hindu exclusive to the loving kindness only. And the Makamus give more and more specific instruction how to practice loving kindness. It was very difficult to do that. So these people have talked in this great way about this vipassana or insight. So uh, giving that up is very difficult. So within them, I had to exert myself really quite a lot to give up because I have trained this so for a long time so I got so used to that so like getting out of the vipassana practice uh, relinquishing that took really a lot out of me. Mm -hmm. And the mind was very uninterested in like thinking. So actually in Sinhala you use same word for no thing or attending to an object as in the Vipassana but in so like in the Satipatthana method, you just note or attend to the object. So now for metta in Sinhala they say you attend to the object or note the object uh, in this way and that way is may all be, be all beings be well and happy. So, so then this kind of new way of attending to the objects was you even more difficult than like Lokohamdu thought the practice did not kind of work out in some way or another and that's why he wanted to disrobe and go home. So now when he was asked to, to start the loving kindness practice, it was even more difficult than before. So, so like the reason why he thought it's not working out, uh, let's go, ho go home. Now the like, loving prime, kind loving kindness practice was like much more difficult than what it was before. Mm. Mm. So it's like really clenched, like gritting one teeth, how to kind of manage to continue. Mm. Mm. So then the next one is all the ladies and all the guys and this. So that one also the, was uh, difficult because again the mind didn't have any inclination to do that. Oh. But somehow or another because the teacher told me to do that I did not give up and somehow or another managed to continue that. So when I got to the level of the directions it was not that difficult or it was less difficult than before. Hmm. So, so because I, before I was thinking I am going vipassana, vipassana is this, uh, what not, this. so the way of this paying attention and noting all the things is what I used to do before and I, I was very familiar with that practice and it was kind of like a second nature, so then when Lokamdu was taught to do this loving kindness, the mind really is like did not want to go into these new directions. But somehow or another, I I managed to do it, like switch to that practice, and that actually worked out. Uh, 
I, I myself actually don't know how I managed to get it work. So then even the last bit I was able to do that. So then it became something very valuable for me. So more than vipassana, actually the mind through this practice gets very deep and strong kind of peacefulness or calm. It, it took me about uh, maybe like up to around 10 months of practicing all the time that uh, when I came back finally to the good result some kind of realization. Hmm. So this level that all uh, comes as it worked out and he realized it, it is, I don't know if I managed to convey the meaning properly. So he was practicing and then at one point he realized now it has gotten to the level where it became something valuable for the life. So when he realized it became something so valuable for his life was at the point these things that are written on the board they become like your second nature. So your automatic attitude is like always like that. Without thinking, without anything, the like automatic re like reaction or attitude is the described. Mm. So, <coughs> so at that point, oh, so that that means really it's like all the objects are basically apprehended together with loving kindness. Whether somebody tells you something nice or not nice, anyway, it is apprehended with loving kindness. Mm. <coughs> so this uh, liberation of mind by loving kindness actually refers to Lokamsa's it refers to path knowledge where the vehicle used to attain the path knowledge is the loving kindness itself. Mm. So this cheto which was defined on the board as having the having these things in the mind was the definition. So comes as that means that's the samatha level of the practice. Mm. Mm. That's uh, <coughs> having those things or qualities or natures actually in the mind <coughs> is a samatha, the deep samatha level of practice, uh, possibly having some absorptions. Mm. So this is basically means that the like a 
So like the main thing, the most important or the leader or boss of all the mental fact, different mental factors is, is no loving kindness. Mm. And so it, it is like managing the mind. So the management is by loving kindness. And is that quite possibly that means some absorption. Hmm. Or at least at the level of absorption. Hmm. So this is uh, this, uh, what is there. If you have this liberation of mind by loving kindness, so this part of mind means when these things are there in the mind, it means this. Uh, like loving kindness became the second nature of the mind that is managing the mind and that uh, possibly means absorptions or uh, the strength of tranquility or samatha of, of, uh, that is on par with absorptions. Mm. So these things uh, mentioned there, this uh, like uh, non-oppression, uh, no, uh, freedom from harming, uh, comfort, not discomfort, and these things, one of them or more are always there, uh, accompanying the mind and or the experience. Oh, okay. mm. So, and which is a very kind of, it's a kind of something like concentration or peace of mind or kind of calmness, settled, settled mind. So that might mean that the mind has, uh, uh, like, has achieved the absorption. Mm -hmm. So then this itself becomes and things that assist the vipassana part of the practice. So before the insight might have been this kind of not very pleasing, it's not like pleasing, the mind is not very happy about that situation. Now it's this metta is the other way around. The concentration and one pointedness are more stronger than before. Mm. Mm. This liberation is defined as uh, the mind is now com freed from any kind of uh, uh, factors connected with anger. So, which is the kind of freedom means the liberation, and which is like conclusion on top of the uh, concentration. Mm. Hmm. So it is possible to practice this and uh, now it takes some time and in the beginning it might be somewhat difficult to uh, get used to that practice but it is possible to practice. Mm. 
So let's say there is somebody that's angrily telling you something, so you, your reaction is completely free from any kind of irritation and anger. At, n nothing like that is within your, yourself at all if, if you are at that level. Mm. Mm. So Lokamudu says this why he thought of going home was not because if I understand correctly not, not because his practice was really bad, but because the situation like in some in some forest monasteries or something the people and other things were so bad. So it was actually one monk. And if I remember what Lokam said or before, it was like wherever this monk goes, he really. <coughs> There is like a saying about it. Like one, uh, one, sp one spoiled apple, uh, something like that. Like if the idea is like you put one rotten thing in a barrel of things and everything starts being rotten. So there was a monk like that. And Lokohamdu, before he <coughs> was thinking of disrobing, he went to one place and this monk came there. So then he tried to be there and could not, so then he went some other place and this monk again went there, so then this was too much. So then this uh, some relatives of Lokohamdu that, that were uh, Christians, they, they were living near, near that uh, monastery and reported all these things to Lokohamdu's family. These, 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 these things are happening. So then I got message from home from my uh, like brothers and sisters, please uh, like don't stay there, uh, just disrobe and come back home. <laughs> Hmm. So then I thought, now for a monk to just disrobe, it is not good. Proper way, so you go to your teacher and inform him and then disrobe. So then Lokam tried to do that and then he was told to start practicing the loving kindness. Ah, so, okay. So Laba Hirokam got ready to really disrobe. So then he like uh, cleaned the place completely and washed the robes because he wanted to like leave them washed and folded and everything. So he really got everything ready to disrobe and go. So, yeah, like Lokam brought the things, he had the one robe he was wearing, but other things he kind of put nicely together, brought them and said, Bante, I like, uh, it's better if I disrobe, it's, it's difficult, it's there, so. So he said, no problem if you like to disrobe, <coughs> disrobe, but there are still some small things that need to be done, so first finish those. Oh, <coughs> 
So then Lokan finished those things and then he was really not because the thing he was told after you finish these small small things then you can go. So but the chief man told him, told him now okay you can go in this room but for about a month if you meditate is good. So this is actually like brothers and sisters came to the Lokam's chief monk and said like it's is better if he disrobes please let him disrobe and send him home and he says, okay, no problem, and he told Lokram do, but for about the month, if you meditate, it's better before you disrobe. Mm. So he said that one month before you disrobe, do just the loving kindness, exclusive, exclu exclusive. So that was the very difficult thing. So because of this, People he that were angry with him, or he was angry with them. So this anger issue, people they were the problem. Hmm? Sometimes you feel like vomiting because of. So anyway, somehow or another, he managed to like plot through the month of meditation, loving kindness meditation. Because I could not give it up because the teacher told me to do that. Then on Mahadev, then on the me was here. Because it so so after the month, this month he gave me one or two things from the from the things of the, that are written on the board. So then little by little all these things that are on the board Lokoham he he had Lokoham trained. That, that, that was now it became about three months. So then you said if you like now go. Then Lokoham said now now I can't go. So then another half a year, about half a year he was practicing more and more. This is really, really very much difficult. You are very much fed up. There are like points where you are, you are so much fed up with it. So you, you, you think very often uh, if I went home and just take like home free, you know, these things, how much easier it would be. Hmm? But you know, if yeah. you go home, you can, you won't find an opportunity to train in the, these things in that way. So, so this now really was a number of months that Lokham was continuously and gradually step by step training the loving kindness. And loving kindness exclusively. So at that point there are there is no anger in the mind at all. So when whatever kind of person you see, there is no even displeased reaction in the mind. All in the world is kind of apprehended in the same way. There is no difference. Everything is kind of same. 
Jacob, and then we put them out there. So that, that is then turned into the insight meditation. Then I see the Vipadana now. Vipadana and Jibu, I could have the Mega. Because the Vipadana now, I could become a little bone of the eye. So then, at that point, you like both, you like the white loving kindness practice, and the mind is happy also about practicing the insight. Uh, then, when you come out here, you bow like, mm. that type. Huh? So, the concentration is kind of like very is strong, deep, and a lot of concentration. Mm. Five, six hours in concentration is like nothing. Mm. So in, mm. There are no, no like people that you have issues with or beings you have issues with in the world. So then, then, even though the chief monk told me if you like you can go, he does not want to go. So he says, no, I can't. So then, he, he, in the end, he decided to stay. Then he said, I am not going to go. I Oh. Because I understood this power and strength of loving kindness. Mm. Mm. So there is. Mm. So, so it's a very strange kind of unusual, completely strange mind where there is no anger, irritation, displeasure, dislike at all. So Lokam says about things that have no terrorism, talking about them is difficult, it's something like that. Mm. Everything became like same. So mm. the Oh, Okay. Okay. Before Lokam said, one of the, how you can recognize the loving kindness worked uh, was this uh, monk that was causing the trouble in the beginning, the problematic rotten monk. Uh, he one time suddenly came and Lokam could see in his mind there was no reaction. But Loka, this is what Lokam told us a few times before. But before he started practicing loving kindness, if he saw the monk in distance, his heart was getting like almost heart attack, and he, the best thing was to like quickly go away. But now this monk appeared, and no reaction at all, and he came next to Okuhamdu and talked with him, and there was no reaction, nothing happening. So, and that Lokam told us that time, it is that is the sign that the loving kindness has reached some level of development is if you have this problematic person like that he needs to come near to you or at least contact you and then you see how you don't have the displeased reaction at all 
So that is how you rec recognize that some development in the loving kindness happened. Yeah, loving kindness is a good thing. Mm. Oh, monkey oh. So, God says, before he practiced, <laughs> if he saw that monk in distance, it was, he felt like he was getting a heart attack. So, because this monk was so difficult to, 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 to like, be with. Lokam did not like to even see him, so if he happened to see him, first Lokam's reaction was immediately turn away and go, go somewhere else. But after practicing loving kindness, there was no reaction at all. Mm -hmm. So those days, if people came and asked Lokham about some Dhamma and Vina aspects, he used to give them some explanations. So after practicing the loving kindness like this, suddenly this monk appeared and came to Lokohamdu and asked him about some Dhamma things. So Lokohamdu gave him his explanation, but there was this, this like the mind was not re reacting at all to this monk. So. Anyway, so may you be protected by Tripa Devi. Nice, nice, nice. 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 Nice, nice